So here's our cute little glamping tent. Look at this place. <laughs> is trying guinea pig for the first time. He's going for it. Like chicken? What does it taste like? Tell the viewers. Oh really? Oops. But is it like meat, like chicken meat? Like the texture of it? Because it looks kind of like... Yeah. Okay, rate it. Would you eat it again? No? <laughs> hey, but at least you tried it. I don't think so. Why? I don't know, but your looks make me not want to try it. <laughs> Oops. It's just that it looks a bit strange. For us. Yeah. Just eat the potatoes. We'll feed it to the dogs. <laughs> All right, guys. In honor of Corky and Lucky, my two guinea pigs, I will only take one small bite. And that is all. Only gone for two weeks, but look how much shit we schlep <laughs> with all the camera equipment, all the outfits I bring, everything. It's a lot, and also this altitude is killing me, guys. I'm always out of breath, <sighs> but it's time to go for breakfast. We just made it to the Inca Pirca ruins, which are um, Inca ruins since here it says the oldest building in the complex was 1000 AC. And yeah, it's pretty crazy actually. So it costs $2 to get in. There's some food, there's some drinks around here, some tourist stuff. Definitely bring layers because it is cold. Card. Yeah, we are freezing, but at least I got my alpaca hat and Thomas has his poncho. We're good to go. We're gonna explore for a bit. It's not a very big site, so you don't need much time here. But um, if you're into archaeological history, this is your spot. So these little circular things over here is where they stored their quinoa, their corn, and other Thomas's favorite thing to do. Wave at the llamas. I mean alpacas, sorry, I keep telling them that they're llamas, but they're alpaca. You guys are so cute. Hola! So we stopped in farm country to get some local uh, yogurt, coffee, and some tamales with queso. And we found this uh, sugar cane, some kind of alcohol that's from Ecuador. So we're gonna try it as well. Oh wow, that's pretty hefty. Mm, delicious. Should I put some in my coffee? <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank God I'm not driving. All right, so we're at a bar in Cuenca. Hola. And what is this? It really smells like I'm at the uh, Chris Kindle Mark. Yeah, like a punch. Yeah, and it does. But it's so it's like a hot alcohol, and it's made from orange juice with. Naranjilla. Okay, so it's kind of like an orange juice. Yeah, but it's kind of orange, but it's like a tropical fruit from South America. It's got... looking for me? Yeah, Matteo, I was looking for you. But what kind of alcohol is it? Matteo, what kind of alcohol is in Canelazo? What? what kind of alcohol? Ah, aguardiente. Which is what? Hello. You're on camera. This, this is aguardiente. Aguardiente is um, uh, a classic uh, from, I don't know, is caña in, in English? Caña? Cane. Oh, cane. Yeah. It's from the uh, Andean region. So you can find it in, in Bolivia, in Colombia, yeah, Peru, in, in Ecuador. Colombia, we yeah. in, in every little town have like a uh, hair their own uh, version uh, own own receipt of aguardiente yeah right. hello nice to see you guys <laughs> well cheers good to know it's pretty good it's kind of sweet but yeah it tastes kind of like a glue wine oh, yeah, yeah. like yeah, whatever Yo empiezo a rapear despacito, poquito a poquito, pasito a pasito. Como lo hago, me hago un meniaito, como yo lo hago, mi cliente favorito. Oh, my favorite customer, eso Leo. es lo que yo te dije. Como lo hago, casi me contradije. Bueno, yo voy volando como una mariposa, ya me olvidé con todas estas cosas. La vida no es color de rosa. ¿Sabes qué pasa? Que yo vuelo cual mariposa. Ya no sé qué más decir. Yo te regalo una rosa y ahora yo me callo. ¿Qué cosa? Oh. oh. I forget your word. Ah, uh, poquitos. I say, I say. Yeah. Yeah. It's an honor. Wow, Always. It's an honor. Good, really. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> What's your uh, amigo, channel? My name? Your uh, rap channel. Oh, uh, Suki. S U K I. Suki MC. From follow, Suki. follow, Amazing pork. Thomas is really happy because we're in the market and he just got a plate of pork and what is that? Potatoes, some vegetables for four dollars. How does it taste? Better than the guinea pig? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Much better. And cheaper. <laughs> So now we stop for something sweet. Thomas got two smoothies, a dollar each. What kind? Blackberry, that's carrot, and we're waiting for maracuya. Ooh, your favorite. Well, we just left Cuenca, and honestly, it was much nicer than Quito. Um, a very cute town. We only had one night there, but I do recommend visiting the market and the downtown historical area. Now we're headed to a glamping spot in the national park here, which is called Cajas. Yeah, and we have a place just for one night. Um, it was it's called El Sendero Glamping. Um, if you book directly through them, it's like $119 for two people for one night. If you book on Airbnb. 
So here's our cute little glamping tent. And here's a cute little man cute. in his little poncho. Hi. Oh, look at this place. Ooh, look, they even installed a stripper pole for you, Thomas. Cue the uh, cherry pie song. <laughs> but here's our cabin or uh, tent, whatever you want to call it. It's got everything you need, a little fireplace, a chair for Thomas to sleep on, and a bed for me. Now we're going to explore. Over here we have a little hut for starting a nice smoke fire. House. The smokehouse. Thomas is going to make a fire for me, right? Can you do it? With wood. <laughs> Rub two sticks together. Guess we'll have to ask for wood. And then we have our bathrooms are up here. So that's where we're staying. How nice. What did you get for dinner? We stopped at a little restaurant. They have a bunch of like fish restaurants right around the trout, trout from the river. Really and good. Beans, rice, plantains. I got a burger. I'm hoping it's local. Fresh bread. And we are starving. So, thank you, Fish, for your sacrifice. Amen. <laughs> prepared for this weather. We are in the National Park. Cajas. <laughs> yeah, it's um, very nice here, but it's very cold. So there's a main highway that goes through the park. And if you want to see anything, you basically have to hike, which we're not really that prepared for. But there's this beautiful lake behind us. And if you want to hike it, it's about two hours to walk around the whole thing, approximately. Let's see how long we last. We just had to register at the like office here, but you don't have to pay anything. And what other tips do you have, Thomas? Don't bring your dog. Yeah, don't bring your dog. It's not dog friendly. Over here we have Steven Spear Spielberg in the wild. Trying to make cinematic videos for reels. <sighs> Follow us on Instagram so you can see how that turned out. How is it? So we just stopped after our two hour hike for food at a local place. Thomas picked out chicharron, uh, trout chicharron. So it's basically mm -hmm. like fried, fried fish. Fried fish. Local. And I got some kind of chicken and I got some hot wine, wine to warm, I can't speak, to warm up. How is it? And this is like the white corn, I think with eggs, like, or something. Looks pretty good. Bon appetit. Alright guys, we are literally half asleep. We had a 8 o'clock flight this morning from Guayaquil and we are heading to Lima, Peru. But if you want to see our Lima, Peru experience, you gotta wait till the next video because this one is ending. 
How was your uh, Ecuador experience? Very good. What was your favorite? Um, my, uh, the whole drive through the Andes was very good and I love the mountains. Yeah. And the alpacas. Cold. Yeah, we saw wild alpacas. That was a highlight. Any tips or recommendations for the viewers? Check it out. Uh, definitely don't pay for the, uh, what do you call it, the highway pass because we literally went through one toll road so the rental car yeah. company scammed us for 60 bucks. What? Um, don't use the, the toll. Yeah, they use US dollars here so bring your USD. Uh, oh. Checkouts at Airbnbs are like 12 o'clock which is amazing because I feel like in the US it's like 10 o'clock and they want your ass out of there so that was really nice. And everybody was super friendly. I think 10 out of 10 recommend doing a road trip in Ecuador. Yes. It's not dangerous. We felt safe the entire time. The, the roads were fine. Doesn't yeah, the police don't bother you. you. Definitely recommend if you want to do Ecuador, you got to do it by car. Yes. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you give us a like and subscribe. And see you in Peru. Bye.